Hello and welcome to your yoga pause. This is a pause today that is dedicated to the late luteal phase. We might say informed by it and it is a lovely, lovely opportunity to play with that variable energy. This is the time when we are getting ready for the menstrual phase to begin, to begin our menstrual shedding. And our energy slows way, way, way down. Our sensitivity goes way, way, way up. And our intuition expands <laughs> very dramatically. You might notice that you are feeling feelings very deeply. And you might not even want to feel them. Uh, but the way through is not to try to push them off through intellectualizing them, not to fight them off through out running or out spinning or out yoga-ing them, but rather to just walk with them. Let them be there and let them release themselves. Let's get started because the easiest way to transition is through breath it keeps things in motion so let's begin with an inhale through the nose letting the breath move down 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 into the first and second chakras so that that area expands exhale letting that same area contract letting the breath move up 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 and out through the nose inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's now bring the body into an inhale, arms up overhead. Meeting in steeple grip over the head. Exhale, bringing the hands down through prayer. Stopping at the heart. Inhale, arms come up, staying in prayer. Exhale, arms open overhead, swan dive. Inhale, reaching out, out, out with that left hand. Arm reaches out, 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 out. Keeping that shoulder tip anchored into the, anchored towards the center, towards the core, so that you create more stretch between the fingertip and the shoulder tip, creating that traction. Inhale, arm up. And let your right hand walk along the ground. Now we're gonna anchor that left side body, that left seat, that sits bone that is touching the ground on the left, we're going to anchor into it so that we bend, reaching, 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 continuing the reaching towards the right side, letting the right arm move along the mat and creating a lovely stretch through that side body, but an anchored stretch. So that you're anchoring in two spots, here with the shoulder and here with the seat. The more you anchor, the more stretch you allow yourself. A building can grow higher, the deeper its foundation. Inhale into the side body. Creating stretch, reaching, reaching, reaching. Exhale. Relax into this place. Inhale, reaching, 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 exhale, inhale, reach out and allow that reach out to pull your body up, walking that right hand back towards the center and letting the left hand land on the ground. Let's take the other side. 
Inhale, reaching out, anchoring through that right shoulder tip, reaching out at the right fingertips, reaching out, 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 reaching and anchoring, creating a strengthening and stretching at the same time. For some of you, you may even feel a tension or trembling in your arm muscles as you are using these in a different way for the first time ever. Inhaling, reaching, reaching, reaching. Arm comes up to over the head. Exhale. Inhale, reach that left, those left hands down, reaching along the mat and stretching, anchoring that right side body into the ground, anchoring that sits bones, creating that stretch. Exhale. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale. And for a point of reference, we want to feel like our body is being pressed between two pieces of glass. So we're going for a flatness and an openness here rather than just getting to that other side of the mat. We want to reach for that flatness. Again, we're creating a tension by anchoring here and here and, that, and going for that flatness so that it provides even more healthy stretching for the body. Inhale, exhale where you are, and finally inhale. Reach, 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 reach to land gracefully. One more time, both arms up overhead, inhale. Both arms reaching up and out and up and out and up and out, but anchoring through the shoulders. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Let your chin come to your chest as you bring those hands to prayer. Inhale. Let the head rise up to neutral. Exhale, let the chin rise, let the chin fall back down towards the chest. Inhale, bring the left shoulder, the left ear to the left shoulder tip, but anchor through the right side. Exhale, find relaxation there. Hands staying in prayer or you can use that hand to cue that tension, that anchoring in the opposite side body. Inhale, bring the chin so that it faces the sky and the head reaches back only as far as you can go. Who knows what time of day you're doing this. We don't want to injure ourselves. Exhale, relax into this space, feeling this openness through the entire front side body through the chest, letting those muscles that for those of us who hunch over purposefully or by accident, letting those muscles feel the light of day. Inhale, reaching, reaching, reaching with that right ear towards the right shoulder tip and anchoring through that left side. Exhale, relaxing into the stretch you've just created. Inhale, the chin comes back to the chest. Exhale, chin at the chest. Inhale, chin comes up. And now let's get on to our knees for tabletop. And from tabletop, we're just going to do a few cat cows. So inhale, cow, letting the gaze come towards the sky. Still thinking about those shoulders anchoring down towards the core, letting the middle of the body reach towards the ground, which means the butt is going to arch towards the sky. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Everything that was reaching up is now going to reach down. Our tailbone reaches down, our forehead reaches down towards the ground, our middle body now reaches up towards the sky. Our shoulders continue to anchor towards the ground. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, let's take a revolution. So we're going to inhale to cow. 
And then we're going to just lean our side body towards, lean our side body towards the right side of the mat. And then exhale to cat. And then inhale, leaning the left side body towards the mat. And then exhale here, left side body towards the mat. And then inhale, cow. Other direction, inhale, cow. So you're on that same inhale. Exhale, left side body towards the mat. Inhale, left side body is, is arching sideways towards the left side of the mat. Exhale, cat. Inhale, right side body towards the mat. I mean, towards the right side of the mat. Feeling that stretch that you felt earlier. Exhale. Inhale, cow. Mm, creating more space. The more space you create, the more easy it is for that which does not serve to move through you rather than to stagnate, stay, fester, and hurt. Inhale, flip the toes towards the front of the mat and push back just a little bit so that the knees rise up off of the ground. Before you do that, I gotta do a little quick talk about our grip. You know what I'm gonna say. Our finger and thumbs make a left, make an L or a backwards L, and then our hands unfold from that L. That's what's gonna go on the ground. Our fingertips are going to grip so that we protect our wrists. Okay, now we can do it. We're at tabletop. We flip our toes towards the front of the mat and we're going to just push into the balls of our feet so that our knees will slightly rise. We're gonna to need to create a little bit of tension on our belly so that we can keep a flat back. So our knees are gonna come up, inhale. Exhale, hold here. Inhale. Exhale, hold. One more, inhale. Exhale, hold. Are you noticing any difficulty getting the breath down to that first chakra? If you are, ease off by bringing your knees down to the ground and lifting them only as much as will allow that doesn't stop your breath from reaching your lower chakras. Inhale one more time. Exhale, bring the knees to the ground, which means you're going to land in downward facing dog. We, the knees, I'm sorry, bring the heels towards the ground so that you get your heels angling towards the ground, resulting in downward facing dog. Our hands are keeping their grip. And one of the great things about really paying attention to alignment is that you can also uh, make ensure against future injuries. People get injuries from downward facing dog. One of those is from uh, not supporting themselves correctly up here. They overuse muscles that aren't made to uh, support this pose. They use the wrong muscles and this pose is actually a resting pose. And if you're in a resting pose and you're not resting, it means you're going to overuse muscles that aren't supposed to be overused. So let's pay attention to our alignment. One of those ways to do that is to make sure that the eyes at the elbows are trying to face the front of the mat. These are the eyes of the elbow. Make sure that they're angling, they're trying, they're reaching to face the front of the mat. When you do that, it squares your shoulders and it protects your shoulder joints. And the bend looks more like this than like this. This is a push-up that is not downward facing dog. And our, we're pushing away from the ground at the front of our body. And that makes it easier for our heels to reach the ground at the back side of our body and our butt is going to point towards the sky. Inhale one more time here. Exhale. And now let's do just a gentle sun salutation or the beginning of one. So we're gonna inhale, knees back to tabletop. Exhale, flipping the palms of the feet so that they face the sky. Exhale, palms, tips of the toes come together and bring your seat down for child's pose. Inhale, 
inhale, back up to tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, knees to tabletop, down to the mat to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. I mean, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rippling like a wave up and over your wrists so that you are in plank. You may need to back those toes up a little bit for plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, crocodile. Inhale, upward facing dog or serpent. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rippling like a wave. Plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, serpent or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rippling like a wave. Forward, plank. Exhale. Moving to chaturanga if you feel comfortable with it. Otherwise, take knees, chest, chin, or tabletop as you were doing before. That's your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or serpent. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rippling forward like a wave. Exhale, Jaranga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reaching out with that right hand, anchoring into the ground, anchoring solidly into the ground with that left hand and that right heel to make a diagonal, reaching, 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 reach back towards the left ankle. Exhale. Feel that twist here. And just let your body twist as much as it will allow, really protecting your wrist on your left hand. Inhale, reach that hand back to downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, reaching out, out, out with that left hand, grabbing that back, the outside of the right ankle or shin. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Heels come to the air. Exhale. Bring the knees down, back to tabletop. Inhale, now that we are a bit warmed up, I like to do thread the needle sometimes when we are um, very cold. <laughs> and sometimes when we're more warm so we can go more deeply. This is one of those times we're gonna reach up and out. Let me do this side first so that you can see. We're gonna reach up and out with our left side body. Watch me first so you can demonstrate and then so then you can do it without uh, disrupting your neck and your gaze. Reach up, 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 and out, and exhale, thread the needle so that the shoulder blade is on the ground. And if the shoulder blade can't reach the ground, then just go as high, just stay until you get, uh, until you feel a pinch, and then back off just a little bit more. It's about longevity and sustainability rather than looking like me if you wanted to look like me. Okay, so let's all do it together. Inhale, exhale, thread the needle. You're welcome to take it as far as you want if you are there in your practice. Mm. Mm. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly contracts. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly contracts. Unfolding 
as much as you want. Based on how far you went, we're all going to unthread our needle by inhaling up, bringing the knees back to tabletop. In case you move them, let's do the other side. Inhale, right side body expands, expands, expands. Exhale, thread the needle. Ear and shoulder tip around the ground. Take the pose as far as is comfortable for you. Ooh. Inhaling, belly expands. Exhaling, belly contracts. Inhaling, belly expands. Exhaling, belly contracts. Unthreading the needle. Coming back to tabletop. Let's just bring the knees together and you're going to let the feet touch the outsides of your mat, touch the long sides of the yoga mat. And here, you're welcome to sit, your, to bring your seat between your feet, keeping the palms of the feet facing the sky and landing in hero's pose. If that's not there for you, that's totally fine. You can just take it as far as you want and plus, put a bolster here so that you have space, so that you have space um, and you're not straining yourself. This is a wonderful way, if you have bad knees, this is a wonderful way to contribute to their healing when you can get there. But if you're here, then sitting here on a bolster is also going to be a wonderful way to help heal your knees. Be where you are. For those of you who want to take it farther, we're going to walk backwards, high-fiving our feet palm to palm, hand palm of foot to palm of hand. And you can stop here and just let the gaze go back over towards the back of the mat. Or you can keep walking down and the completion of the pose is going to be, and you don't need to see me for this, the completion of the pose is going to be bringing your hands overhead, walking your shoulders back towards your, walking your elbows back towards your core. So your um, hands are clasping your elbows, making a square with your arms, and they're gonna walk back towards the core, and you're going to arch your back. And that is the completion of the pose as I wish to complete it today. There are other ways to express this pose. I mean, oh my gosh, the thing about yoga is it's a circle, right? The circle begins with war, with the first with the first pose, Savasthiti He, ends with Shavasana, and those are the two most difficult poses you will ever hold in yoga. Everything is always leading to those poses. In this case, I've seen people, <laughs> I've seen people go into um, forearm stand I, from here. I've seen people go into bridge from here, a wheel from here. Um, there are so many ways that you can take this. So I should not use the word completion. I should use this, my, my expression of the pose today and the one I offer to you because there are so many ways to express this moment and every pose in yoga. Always, always, always riding the breath through all of this. And let's unlock this pose and walk ourselves back up. Walk, 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 walk. We'll meet everybody who hung out here in Hero, and we'll walk back up to, so that we are standing on our shins, and we're going to make sure that our knees are uh, fist width apart. So we put our fist like this, or our hip width apart, and the way to do that is just to put your two fists together so that they kiss, and now the knees are hip width apart. The whole front body is square, is on fast with the front of the mat, you're going to take the two hands, you're going to put them behind your back, and we're going to just inhale, reach, 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 and watch me for the first one, and then do it with me. We're going to inhale, and we're going to reach, 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 reach up, focusing on keeping this part of the body forward. So as we reach farther back, the 
what we're going to want to do is go like that. Please don't. Focus on keeping this forward and just go back as far as that will allow. For some people, that means you will end up with your forearms on the ground and, and you are like a super yogi or whatever. Flexibility is important to you. But for most of us, that'll look like our hands, our fingertips pointing towards the ground, towards our feet and or for part of it, and then maybe our hands touching our heels. So we're going for, if you're with me, we're gonna go for this or we're gonna go here. But the focus is not on getting there so we can touch our heels. It's on keeping this integrity, keeping this pushing towards the front of the mat. Okay, let's do it together. Inhale, knees are hip width apart, hands come to the lower back, fingertips pointing down, upper body, shoulders are anchoring towards the center of the body. And while doing that, we are expanding our chest and we're inhaling, reaching up, 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 focusing on our hips, pushing towards the front of the mat to keep the integrity of the pose. If you are comfortably arched back from here with your hands palming your butt, you can also walk your hands down and let the gaze reach back towards the back of the mat. You must work in your comfort zone. I do not know what that is for you, so I need you to be your judge. Mm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Walking back up. Walk, walk, walk. Walking your hands up. And let's take the counter pose. Coming back to tabletop. We're just going to do an inhale, neutral spine, exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine, exhale, cat. Let's bring our body down to child's pose. You are welcome to keep the child's pose active by keeping your knees open or bring it to passive, to the yin child's pose. And you're going to bring your knees together and then let your body relax over your thighs. If you went for the active version, you're letting your body relax between your thighs. And if that's not there for you, please use a pillow to make up for the space between your body and your thighs. We want as many points of contact between your upper body and your thighs so that all of you can rest. So that as much of you can rest as possible is a better way to put it. As a result of your, of your inside body, the front side of your body resting in contact with your thighs and your knees or the ground, your backside body can really relax and open up. We can stand to spend more time and attention to give more time and attention to strengthening and stretching our back rather than just expecting it to support us without any support for it. Our feet and our back need a lot of attention and unfortunately, they will eventually scream and then we'll have to give them a lot of attention. And oftentimes that is too late. So let's take preventative action by doing what we can to strengthen and relax and stretch our feet and our back. This is one of those ways. sending breath through the body to that first chakra. The intention of our breath never changed. And this is not a breath only for yoga. This is one that I invite you to take with you off of the mat into your life because it is actually the way we're supposed to be breathing. Most of us are existing, breathing with panic breath, but as we know, um, 
the same way that we can't we can't uh, allow a machine to work in emergency mode for long periods. It will break itself. We have to shift to breathing in our through our lower body because there are there's so much more nutrition, so much more oxygen we're getting from each breath when we use that, and. So so much less energy that the body needs to burn in order to process the oxygen we're receiving when we're breathing in our belly. Let's roll up through the back, bringing the head towards the sky, leaning our back so that it becomes perpendicular to the ground. Bring the shoulder tips up, up, up. You will only hear me say this for this particular stretch. <laughs> Bring the shoulder tips up, up, up to the ears and then roll them down. As you roll them down, the eyes of the elbows point to the point outside from the body, point away from the body, the palms of the hands then unfold and also face out towards the body. Mm. Breathing, always inhaling, belly expands. Exhale, belly contracts. Hands come to heart. And we acknowledge ourselves for giving ourselves this time. We acknowledge each other for holding space together. And we thank whatever we believe in for the willingness to take time for ourselves. In taking time for ourselves, we are helping to save the world because we are allowing ourselves to show up that much more powerfully, that much more authentically. And in doing so, we are not only saving ourselves, we are saving the world. Thank you. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace.